Hello, once again I wanna talk about a game with over 80 million downloads, graphics better than some of the AAA titles we've seen come out recently, over 800 unique champions to collect and fight numerous bosses with, and all of that while being free to play. Our favorite mobile, as well as a PC game, Raid Shadow Legends. At this point I believe that everyone knows what Raid is, but a ton of people don't know what it's really about. In Raid you collect champions, each champion has a different set of abilities, and they also have certain types, all of which counter each other, so you have to choose your team accordingly to the area that you want to fight in. Different stages have different difficulties, you level up your champions by fighting. You also get loot from completing stages, which you can use to make your champions stronger. The stronger your team is, the more challenging stages you can take on. And if PvE is not much of a challenge to you, then you can also join a PvP arena, or join a guild for even harder encounters. There's also tons of events, so there's always something to do in Raid. We also got big news from Raid Shadow Legends that you don't wanna miss. Something big is happening this month. The worlds of Raid Shadow Legends and Monster Hunter are colliding in an amazing limited time crossover, starting on January 9th, 2024, and finishing on March 5th. Players can collect 5 Monster Hunter themed legendary champions based on the iconic monsters from Capcom's action RPG franchise. Rafalos, Zingor, Latrion, Vitalis and Ruiner Nergigante. Everyone can get Rafalos Blademaster Legendary Champion for free simply by logging into Raid for 7 days between now and March 5th. If you try out Raid using my link, you can get an edge right at the start of your Raid adventure by getting 3 super strong epic champions and a rare hero. By clicking the link in the description or scanning the QR code, you'll get Lightsworn. His kit allows you to keep your team alive with an increased defense buff and a revive on death skill. Then, after reaching level 15, you get Juliana. She's a powerful boss killer with magic affinity, which makes her strong against enemies with affinity. Remember that to get all of that you need to use the QR code or the link in the description, and also there are some promo codes for the new players for an additional epic and rare champions. Code GETOBORO gets you Oboro. Clearly. She gets stronger when debuffs are placed on the enemy. Code RAID for Kellen unlocks Kellen. He has powerful AoE damage and an ability that reduces a target turn meter, which is useful for a number of different bosses. Code RAID for Mord unlocks Mordecai. His ability to HP burn enemies is very useful on any adventure. And if you're an existing Raid player, you also get some freebies. If you use code Isle of Raid, you get a rare champion, Preserver. She has AoE decreased defense buff, which will help in taking down enemies faster. To redeem Raid Shadow Legends promo codes, tap on the tab on the left hand side of the screen when in the Bastion and then select the Promo Codes option. Once in the Promo Codes window, type in your Raid Shadow Legends promo code and hit Confirm. Simple as that. Promo codes are limited to one use per person and you must wait 24 hours after entering a promo code before entering another. Moving away from promo codes, I wanna talk about some misconceptions about Raid. At number one comes its pay to win argument. Any game out there right now can be considered pay to win. In some games you can unlock characters faster, other games have camouflaging cosmetics. Raid has a ton of players that are free to play, you don't need to spend a fortune to have fun with it. I even looked up some Raid content creators and they all have dedicated free to play channels. Point is, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have fun. Misconception number two is that it's a time grinder. Raid has a lot of features that let you automate your game if you wanted to. If you need to grind out levels or farm some gear, you can set auto battle and make it repeat itself automatically. You can even specify the amount of times you want it to be done. You can literally play the game and skip the boring farming if it's something that you don't enjoy in games. It's also cross-platform so you can take it anywhere. At number three comes the most important misconception, there's no depth or strategy involved. There's over 800 heroes in the game. Many artifacts, clan bosses, there's always something to do. Earlier I mentioned that you can automate the battles. There's even strategy in that. You can choose which skills are being used first, which are meant to be used when available, and more. Editing the auto battle well can make you clear stages more efficiently. Equipping your champions with correct items is also very important. All of the item sets give you different bonuses, so you have to make sure you equip your champions with item sets that play to their strengths, instead of giving them stats they don't need. The most important part of the game is putting together a team that works well with each other. You could just put 4 attack types together and hope that you brute force your way through a stage, but a simple thing as adding a healer can really help out with staying alive. And remember, there's over 800 champions in that game, so the possible team combination on their own can keep you busy for hundreds of hours. Raid has made a huge leap in content in 2023, with Cursed City being just one example. The Cursed City is one of the raid's biggest features since the Doom Tower, with 100 stages to complete, including stages where you need to take down two bosses at the same time. As you clear out the Cursed City, you can even unlock a mythical champion. Also, did you notice what time of the year it is? 
What better way to spend it than with the love of your mobile gaming life? There's plenty of content to cozy up with, including the ongoing Lunar Festival event. Check out the White King Narcis and White Queen Ancora. They're the ultimate undead power couple. So what are you waiting for? Click my link in the description or scan my QR code to get two epics. And don't forget to pick one promo code for new users with the third epic. I would personally go with Kellen, because like I said in the last raid video, I love AoE. And don't forget to get a rare champion from a promo code for all players. Once you're in the game you can find me and join my clan, that is if you're lucky enough and there's an open spot. Huge thanks to Raid for sponsoring the video, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.